Hey guys, I'm back again and I'm here with a review of The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde. Now, this book was a real gem and surprise for me. This is the first novel I've ever read by Juno Diaz. And happily surprised, it wasn't at all what I expected, but it was all good. Now, this is a story of Oscar Wilde. He is a young Latino, Dominican origin, American boy living in New Jersey. He desperately wants to fall in love and have a girlfriend. He's a little bit naive. Yeah, a little bit. And he is a diehard nerd and lover of science fiction and fantasy. Now, not only does he read it constantly, but he is also writing it. He's a writer. Now, we quickly are introduced to his other family members, which are his mother and his sister. And we continue the story following uh, these three characters and an array of other ones as well while discovering the adolescence of these three main characters uh, into adulthood. Gino Diaz constructs this story in a manner that it may be perceived as confusing because he has decided to write the novel with quite a few different narrators. And not only that, but he writes the story with Spanish words mixed in and Spanish phrases. So that can sometimes make the understanding of the novel maybe a bit confusing in some parts. Now, for me personally, that didn't bother me, even though I don't speak a word of Spanish. Some context, I understood what was being said in Spanish. Others, absolutely not. But that didn't bother me. What I did was I tried to go with the flow. Now, the other thing that is a little bit confusing is that he writes the story while adding footnotes at the bottom. Now, when I saw these footnotes, I just said, oh boy, here we go. So you can see there, uh, these are the footnotes here, half the page. So you have the story uh, above and then you have the footnotes at the bottom. So when I saw that, I got a little worried because I started thinking of um, the French Lieutenant's Woman. And I thought, oh boy, here we go. No, but it was fine. It was all good. I managed to work through that. In the end, I found the footnotes interesting. I found them sometimes funny. And they gave lots of information that is historical information like on the Dominican Republic and on certain, you know, characters and things like that. So they became very useful. Now, the thing that really annoyed me uh, about reading this book was, see, this was the book that was chosen for my book club. We met on Saturday to discuss this. Now, the thing that annoyed me the most was that instead of 15, we were five. I heard through the grapevine there were some people who found that this book was a waste of their time and stupid and too violent or whatever, and they decided that they weren't going to read it. So yes, I was a little disappointed by that because they weren't prepared to, to, to play the game, the book club game, which is you read what is voted on. And I found that being that we don't read very many authors of color, and we don't read that many American works as well, I felt like this was a good choice because it hit two birds with one stone. Be that as it may, we continue with the review. Now, the Oscar Wilde novel contains many major themes. Uh, you have the theme of love because that is what Oscar is looking for, desperately is looking for love, as well as some of the other characters as well. But he is the one in particular that's looking for that real, true, pure love. 
you also have the theme of racism running through the book because there are many references to the fact that Oscar Wilde's mother is a dark-skinned Dominican woman. And Diaz basically brings in that problematic racism dividing the darker skinned Dominicans from the lighter skinned Dominicans, which we also know the same kind of thing in the African American community. So I can almost relate to that kind of thing. Now there's also the theme of superstition because there is a, I would say just, just a pinch of uh, magical realism in here. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. You need to read it to, to find out. But uh, there's a bit of it's a pinch of this magical realism. And uh, there's also this superstition that drives the, the undercurrent of the book. Well, let's talk about the male characters. Wow, there are some nasty piece of work men in this book. And the thing is, is the more you read the book... The more you love Oscar, because he is the exact opposite. And it's almost as if, though, the male characters are made that way on purpose. Just to lift the character of Oscar Wao up even more. The book is quite violent. And there is a lot of strong language. But I would say, for those of you who don't like the strong language and the violence and that kind of thing, abstain. Don't read it. You're probably, you're probably going to think, oh my God, oh my God, what is this? It's kind of gritty, this novel, but it's gritty in a good way because it's, it's a real, you can see it's really turned it into a real epic literary work in only 335 pages, which is amazing because there's so many things that happen in this book. You just, it's mind blowing. And it's just, it's a, for me, this was a breath of fresh air of reading uh, at the beginning of this year because I could really feel like I was getting that Latin experience that Diaz is trying to portray in this novel. So that's the end of my review. I hope you'll all pick it up and give it a go. If you have read it, you know, comment below and tell me what you think. It's true this may not be a novel for everyone. I mean, I really can't recommend it to anyone. But for me, I think I could recommend it to anyone who is interested in reading a different kind of American story. Now, I have a little surprise for you guys. I have this book and I have this one. Whoops, upside down. And I have this one. Okay, this is the one that I read and this is a brand new one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a giveaway and give these two books away because I prefer having a hardback for this particular story because I'm sure I will be rereading it. So what you have to do is, one, you have to be a subscriber, and two, you have to write below, I want to win it. That's it. I will be picking a winner for this giveaway. Let's see, today is uh, Tuesday. So I will be choosing the winner on Saturday. But I will upload my video on Sunday to tell you who the winner is. So you have until Saturday night at midnight. So if you're interested in winning one, you know, comment below. This is just a little gift to thank all of the new subscribers and all of the old ones from for supporting me on this channel, uh, talking about maybe books that people wouldn't normally talk about, and, you know, supporting reviews and all that, you know, literary talk, book talk, bookish stuff talk. Uh, this is just a little thank you to you guys, and I really do appreciate your support and your comments below. So subs subscribe if you're interested, and say I want to win it, and I will choose a winner on Saturday night. Bye-bye.